Still Shoot. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. On today's episode, we're going to talk about Amazon Prime's movie 7500 or 7500, whatever one you want to play it as. But before we get into that, don't forget to let us know what you guys think about the show or the movie in the comments below. Don't forget to turn on that light and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Anyway, into the movie. The movie basically is about a co-pilot who stars as a, who Jason Gordon Lovett stars as, and it's basically about them on a flight where terrorists take over a plane to try and uh, hijack and crash it. You know the same old story that we've been told over and over again. The same thing that we had happen in our lives over and over again. I know it's redundant at this point. But so flight is coming going from Berlin to Paris. It's main story, basically the whole thing was shot basically in the cockpit of the plane, just about. There was not one scene really outside of the cockpit. Sometimes I like movies like that, but this one to me was not it. The script looked, seemed like it was too rushed. It was only about an hour and a half for the movie itself. It, it was like they tried to pack too much in at once and not enough material in between to draw up a proper reason for the attack even though it was an ingenious idea by the terrorist I might I might add of making glass from the bottles that they got from uh, the gift shop yeah. to use as knives and wrap and tape on it so that way they never got caught through uh, the metal detectors and nothing yeah, like that glass. But no, I mean, they already went to the metal detectors and everything. Mm -hmm. Like at the airport, you went through all the scanners, the checks, and all that. And then you went to the gift shop and bought the bottles of alcohol. Dump, poured up the alcohol, whatever, and broke the glass out on the window, broke the glass, <laughs> and put them in the. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, you said that they poured up the alcohol. Don't do that. I know that was a waste of alcohol. I think especially in a, Jack especially in a like, free duty shop, those things are expensive. I know. I believe it was Jack Daniels to it. Damn, oh, that's not cheap in itself. But yeah, so then they broke the glass, used that as weapons. Part I don't like is once the plane takes off, why is the student going and trying to go into the cockpit at any point? She's the reason this all happened. The moment she went in the cockpit, they got in there, stab, 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 got her, stab, 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 killed the pilot. Unless and then this, kept, this yeah. uh, Jason Gordon Lovett gets stabbed once in the arm. He manages to seal the cockpit off, but. Uh, one of the uh, terrorists is stuck in there with him. Knocks the terrorist out. To me, should have killed the terrorist. Thank you. Beginning. Thank you. You're a terrorist. You. <laughs> you are not staying alive in my cockpit. Should have killed him from the beginning, but you know. More It is what it is. <laughs> so, he's on his flight, going, going talking mission control, uh, whatever you want to call it, the tower. Yeah, we're going to have to divert down to such and such. But all this is going on. Mind you, you still got the terrorist of the last three terrorists in the other area out there. They start bringing up passengers, open up the cockpit, and we're going to kill them. This and that. And he doesn't really care too much. He's upset, doesn't he? And to me, the acting itself was just like, oh, bland. He's like, don't do it. Don't do it. Really, like, there was no type of emotion in him. So, let me just jump in real quick. So, I don't feel like he didn't care. I mean, that's how his acting portrayed. To me, it was like he was trying to remain calm, to not show any sign of weakness to them. Because obviously, as he, you know, he was basically trying to not show weakness. And they knew that he knew that if he was to open the cockpit for for the, it would have been definitely. I mean, it eventually happened, but mm -mm. but he knew it had been all over. But anyway, I mean, so it happened. But you, everybody. We're human. We're going to show some form of emotion, either okay. anger, sadness, or not. But it was just like, to me, the acting itself was just like plain and bland. It was like, I'm doing this just to get paid. You know why I'm here. No, just to get paid, I, right? I feel like I felt like he was a little bit more emotional than that. I really do. The Especially the time I seen emotion was the next person that they brought up, who was his girlfriend, soon to be possibly wife, 
I already had a child with the lady. She's another student on the flight. They bring her up. Open the cockpit or I'm kill her. And he tried his best to keep her alive. Send the plane to nose off, which I don't get. Why not keep the plane to nose off and open Agreed. the cockpit at that point and kill the guy and then get her and get her in? No, nah, what they should have done, he should have kept rolling, like, you know, like. Or do a 360. Go. But I know if you, if the plane go, <laughs> the size of the plane, depending on the side of the plane, if it went upside down, it might not have came back it just, around. It just, it just but no, I get can't it. Do that, no. I get it. it I get it. I definitely get it. No, but like, no. but he could he could have done something more than just or that turn one it to tip. the side. Yeah, he, like he could have kept rocking it back and forth. And while he or, was doing that, or die. I mean, or climb high. Start climbing up high. Yeah. So that way they start falling back. He, I mean, he also tried to get the uh, passengers to defend. Which they did, like but they did it solely. But no, they first, the first time they tried, but see, the, the terrorists were smart. Went started going back there with her. With the last turn, not saying if they came close, he would kill them. Soon, but as soon as he would have turned his back, I would have been on his bumper. No, but see what happened was the moment he started going back there, that's when he should have had the plane going up and down. So they fall forward. She gets free, and they can hand it to terrorists at this point. But the, none of that happened. He only do, did a nose dive at one point, got the other terrorist stabbed, who was acting like a little coward at the same time, who turned out to be 18. I thought it was 18. 18, no, 19, no, 18. Something. Oh, okay. Was going back and forth. The whole thing is supposed to be now you know they're Muslim. Too many of their people are getting killed by the West, as they say. I'm like, eh, this none of this makes any sense to me. Yeah, go ahead. It's not a class. So I always do that when I have a question that needs to be answered right away. It's just a habit of mine. Um, I don't understand why I said that. I mean, that was yeah. supposed to have been their reasoning. I get no, there was no reason. I get that, right? But it would have made more sense if it was in America. This oh, was I going know. from Dublin, what, Ireland? Ireland? No, it was going from Berlin to Paris. Yeah. So, like, you're in. You're, you're, there was not, nowhere near enough you to get to any American place. Exactly. That's my point. That's my point right there. So the only like, thing was, he was an American pilot, which they didn't even know. Exactly. So, like, my whole thing is, right? So, if you want the Western. You know, Western Hemisphere or the United States to feel pain. But see, at the same time, I don't know. Are they saying that uh, the UK was the West to them as well? Because I, I mean, mean they could have. West. They, they could have. But, but I'm like, eh, normally when they say, when they say the West, West they America. mean the United States. Exactly. So like when they said that, I was like confused. I'm like, but but you're yeah. okay. But, yeah, I know. Like I said, this whole movie seemed kind of out of sorts to me. It was okay as far as okay. I need something to watch. I can watch it. Other than that, no, I'm not watching this. Yeah, I wouldn't rush to watch it. If this was going in theaters, I would not have paid to see this. No, I'll catch it on uh, catch it HBO three years. No, they talking about the same year. Then I'm days. Oh well, catch it on HBO free. But uh, I personally don't truly recommend this unless you really care to watch something or you're a Jason Gordon love and fan, which personally. This is one of his worst works, if you ask me. That one little teardrop coming down his eye when he was talking about his wife uh, after she had died. When he, him and the remaining terrorist was left in the cockpit after the plane had landed and all. And the other terrorists had been killed by the passengers and they all got out. Because somehow, again, the guy, the terrorist, we said he should have killed that was in the cockpit the first time, gets free. Mind you, he had him taped up, his hands behind his back, locked in the seatbelt. How the hell did he get out the seatbelt? He slid down. First of all, why aren't you blocking the seatbelt completely so he can't slide down or nothing like that? And you couldn't hear him sliding the whole time. Um, that part bothered me the most. Because I'm like, yo, first of all, the guy was, he was a little bit smaller than me as far as like width. Right, he was burly. Yeah. I'm fat. It's two different things. But, things, but see, he he had he, the uh, seatbelt like up here, or so. It wasn't I, wrapped around enough where it restricted him. Well, first and foremost, if it was me, let me tell you that made me think that that's first and foremost. Of course, I mean, my I'm girlfriend, terrorist alive. My girl right now, my wife, she would have been alive because oh, I would have did so many things while I'm in that cockpit, bro. First of all, my idea would have been okay. You kill this passenger, I'm killing him. Okay, y'all said kill him? Cool. He's dead already immediately. Second of all, okay, give me one second. I'm going to open up this door. I'm going to find something to use as a defense. That uh, 
fire extinguisher, blast that fire extinguisher as soon as the door open. I'm like, okay, the door is open, open it. As soon as they open it, bam, fire extinguisher to the face. Or you or you could have just put a spray. That's what I'm saying. I would have blasted the fire extinguisher. Yeah, to you could have sprayed to blind them for a second and then hit knock out the terrorists. She was she, of course she's gonna get hit with the fire extinguisher as well because it's going with spray. Yeah, she just would have been blind for a few cool. minutes. Get her in, lock the cockpit, there we go. Or Here's another thing, right? Because the plane was on autopilot too. So yes, I so. thought personally, I thought that, and you can get me, you can correct me if I'm wrong, that most planes have a, a marshal on it. Yeah, but they said they didn't have one on it, and that's that's no part that pissed well, me off. Every plane now is it's supposed to have an air marshal. Yeah. On there. Every flight. Now I correct me if I'm wrong. It's supposed to. That's what I'm saying. Especially I don't fly, after, so. nine, after 9 11 happened, at least in the United States, they're supposed to have one. Exactly. Airplane. That's what I thought. Another thing I don't get. Why aren't there military people trained to uh, actually get on top of the, on these planes? Why aren't, isn't there an emergency type of hatch in the cockpit and in the back of the plane where you can have a military aircraft fly over top and they can actually get into the plane? To I take think out it's because of the fact of how high they are, like if they open or something. But you got you got these military people that jump from parachutes from that high up. No, 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 no. I'm with, talking about the fact that I'm referring to the, if they open something. No, I mean, pressure lock. But that's if you put the oxygen mask on you, doing that pressure lock. Yeah, anything that's not uh, locked down, it's going to start flying out of it. But you can create certain kind of vacuums. All right. Point. Case in point, they got certain movies where uh, they were refueling the plane, doing a hijacking. You got the joint that locks onto the plane. All right, I don't know. Why can't you have something like that that locks onto the plane for people to actually get in? What? Well, there's another Emergency. question. Stuff like that. Why they don't train the pilots with guns? I I, I don't like that idea. No, you get a, like, you get, especially given down in the times that we live in, these racist pilots that want to go shoot up black people on the plane. Uh, but or you get these drunk pilots that's having a bad day. Airlines get ready to fire him before he retires, and he gets ready to go off and shoot up the, the people on the plane. No, I like, didn't take down the plane. So here's what there will obviously be precautions for that. For example. They could have someone, they can have it remotely locked to where if they report into the radio station or, or to the tower, then the tower unlocks it. But they're going to have to have an override because what if you out of a signal range for the tower? So, something, I mean, but I mean, they could still have some type of precautions. I mean, they could give, have it where it's on a code yeah. that the, that the uh, pilots don't know the code, but then what if you bribe in somebody to pay them? See now you're thinking I mean, too much. No, I'm just saying that that's the type of scenarios that you all have. You're you thinking too much. But into all in all, but they could have some type all of dumb. The whole plan was dumb. And then Jason Goldlock goes to the uh, hijacker first to check to see whether the hijacker is alive or not. Once you knock him out, you ain't even checking your cap, your uh, pilot. No, it's captain. Sure it's the captain. Yeah, I know. The pilot, and captain, same thing. Check the captain. Making sure he was his wounds weren't. Life threatening. That's another thing. Every time he kept saying, I'm okay, I'm okay. First of all, the way he sounded kept making me wonder. Why the plane and was all the You definitely could have definitely checked his wounds. Uh, you packed yourself up. You packed his wounds up too. Because you both of y'all together would have won everything easily. But, uh, I mean, I it agree. Was and I'm not going to call it horrible. It was just a meh movie. But who were the writers? Don't let them write another movie ever again. Because this was bad. The writing was hard. It was some misses. Two out of ten. There was some misses. I'm not gonna give it two out of ten. I give it a five out of ten. It was some misses. I'm some things two that could have been better. Well, I don't know. I like I said, I wouldn't rush to watch it. I definitely wouldn't rush to watch it. Do not watch this at all. It was not an action movie. It was not a drama. It was not a thriller. It was a joke. Jesus Christ. I'm just speaking of it how it is. Horrible acting. Horrible right writing, and for the movies that's normally just like one scene, one area, this was the worst one. Most of them are okay because at least they come with a better script. This, no. Like we kept travel through the rest of the plane and see what was happening. With the passengers. They didn't even really show too much of the passengers overtaking the terrorists. Only just maybe a glimpse at the front and yeah, right at, at the, the front. Now is it like with the, with the camera? Yep. We couldn't see through the rest of the plane, which y'all didn't have enough budget to, sh to shoot a full plane. I do have one thing to say though before we wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Those cockpit doors do what they need to do. <laughs> Those 
things were sturdy. I mean, it better be. I mean, I'm never flying the flight again. Bruh, those cockpit doors were sturdy. They was like at those doors but, for forever. I mean, but, they also didn't have the t tools that you really would have needed to take your cockpit down. They literally just had, like I said, like, like you said, they had glass. So if one person I mean, they used uh, the uh, bins that they, kept, that they had the, uh, food in to try and break the door down the titanium bins, but that wasn't enough yeah. at all. Now, that's one good thing, though. Those cockpit doors are sturdy. Oh, well. Either way, let us know what you guys think if you did watch it already. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree? What are your thoughts and feelings on it? And if you're planning on watching it, let us know how you uh, feel about it after you do see it. Until next time, everybody. Thanks for watching.